Over the past few days of owning the new, and second unit of, DJI Osmo Action 4 camera that we discovered with Hot or Dead Pixel again, we have been testing the camera quite extensively to be ready to deploy it in case we have to use it for broadcast work as our B or C cam footage. However, one of the major dislikes that we have with the Osmo Action 4 is that sudden bursts of blur or jitter during strong movements. Here's a quick recap of the effects that we hated. Now, we can't tell if it is the electronic stabilization working very hard to compensate, or the digital signal processor and image enhancing algorithm doing its trick. That blur and jitter is really irritating and unacceptable for us. Some people attribute that effect to using a shutter speed that is too slow for the EIS to work effectively, but we think otherwise. After a lot of tests, analyzing the blurring patterns frame by frame, we think that the issue is due to the sharpness settings. After every bump, the edge contrast and sharpness seem to disappear and then appear again. So this time, we tried turning sharpness in the custom settings to minus 2. We might be wrong with our analysis, but it seems like the recovery time from the bump or shake is a lot faster, and there seems to be lesser overall drop in image sharpness. That few frames of recovery in sharpness detail is more subtle and less irritating. Many years ago, we had the experience of playing with Terranex and Snell Wilcox SD to HD converters and video processors, and there are many algorithms that we toyed with for best NTSC to PAL frame rate conversions. The frame blending, frame compensation, motion compensation algorithms, and all those high-end video processing. We think if we are right about the use of DSP and PROC amps, the DJI Osmo Action 4 does work better and gives better images with all the signal processing and image enhancements features turned down to the bare minimum. Just simply drop the sharpness to minus 2, set to normal noise reduction for better grain control, and leave the electronic stabilization to do its work. Shutter speed will definitely play a part as well, but we don't think it affects the EIS that much after a certain speed. We leave you with our low light writing footage at minus 2 sharpness settings for your viewing and analysis. Some of the footage are sped up to 500 or 800 percent. Tell us what do you think. Or even better, try the settings out and give us a feedback on your review. Meanwhile, we continue our riding journey with the camera set at auto exposure, 5000K color temperature, rock steady turned on, and sharpness set at minus 2, noise reduction at 0. As we head towards gardens by the bay east, we stop to take a few time-lapse shots again, but this time, only limiting ourselves to 3 seconds exposure. From this test, we think we are quite happy at the results of shooting with custom sharpness set to minus 2 for low light situations. The amount of blurring and jitter is much reduced, much more controlled and subtle. Even if a jitter happens due to a quick bump on the road, the resulting effects to the overall image is more pleasing to our eye. Our analysis is that during image sharpening enhancements, the edge sharpness gets bumped up once the image is stabilized, and you can actually see that difference during that few frames of enhancement processing. That caused the blur jitter effect that we see and hated, and that effect is amplified during low light, low shutter night shoots. We're going to do a few more rounds of testing and observe our findings. Meanwhile you can check our past night ride footage from the Osmo Action 4 with sharpness at zero settings. Do share with us your thoughts, 